iMac power supply replacement A1418 always begin by disconnecting the rear power cord it's very important so that the power supply is not live the tools we're going to need are a T8 screwdrivers as well as a Phillips head screwdriver plastic and metallic prying tools tweezers a blow dryer and M3 double sided tape begin by heating up the glue that's securing the screen to the iMac uh, it's glued on so go ahead and heat it up for about four or five minutes to make sure it's nice and soft and then go ahead and start prying in with the sharp tool and one of the corners please note that if you're using a metallic tool like we are here there's a possibility you can scratch up the interior of the screen so go very slow and try to use a plastic tool instead of a metallic tool first um, go ahead and go all the way around the contour and break that seal when the glue is warm it should be able to come apart pretty easily then you can wedge, it, wedge in like a piece of plastic and then pry it and get that separation going once the separation is started you can gently pull back on the screen up top and expose the two connections let's take a closer look here uh, there's the um, screen connection and the power for the screen go ahead and pull that power for the screen first uh, by gently wiggling it out of its socket and then the actual uh, screen data cable go ahead and pull on that little tongue uh, and then unclip it like that with those two connections uh, unhooked we can go ahead and lower the screen but it's still attached with the uh, foam tape double sided glue that they have so go ahead and uh, use a tool to go ahead and cut that apart uh, we're just using a metallic prying tool here uh, once you got that separated you can just pull it right out we'll need to remove this tape here that is uh, guarding the five screws behind it uh, that has the cable guard so you can just peel that away uh, we'll be putting double sided tape over it once we reassemble the unit that will expose those five screws these are Phillips head screws go ahead with a Phillips head screwdriver remove the five screws that are securing this cable guard always be careful and uh, put all the screws in the orientation where you don't get them lost go ahead and start lifting it up should be able to come right out once you uh, remove those five mm -hmm. remove the hard drive bracket that's secured with four T8 screws uh, one in the top and one on the bottom of the left bracket and then one in the top and one in the bottom of the right bracket now let's be careful here and unplug this power button cable from the power supply and just untuck it go ahead and remove two T8 screws that are securing the power supply there's one on the bottom right one bottom left now you can lift the power supply out of its socket be careful it has three connections the first connection is to the logic board as you can see here and uh, that's the data connection now the next one is the actual power rails you gotta press in that little tongue inside and pull it out it's a little difficult but uh, should be done in a pinch and then the third final cable you just pinch that and pull it out as well power supply installation for iMac A1418 now let's plug in the power supply the uh, four prong bottom connector first then the main side connector into the logic board and then now the third uh, data connector uh, of the power supply to the logic board so three places for the power supply once that's plugged in go ahead and tuck it into its slot make sure you're not trapping any of the cables and it comes in naturally it should align uh, and you shouldn't feel much resistance make sure you didn't trap the power button cable go ahead and secure the two T8 screws there one in the bottom right and then one in the bottom left again making sure you didn't trap that 
power button cable. Go ahead and plug that power button cable into the power supply and tuck it in so it's not sticking out along the speaker. Now put back the bracket for the hard drive, the one on the left side, and secure the two T8 screws. One on the right side, secure those screws as well. It's very important to remove all of the residual uh, double-sided tape that was left from when we took the screen apart. Go ahead and remove as much as you can. Try to get all of it. Make sure there's no gap. Make sure it's nice and flat plastic. Now let's go ahead and put back the uh, guard that guards all the connections. Uh, and secure that, put that right in, secure it with the five Phillips head screws. Okay, now let's go ahead and put the double sided tape all the way around the entire contour, especially all the places where we removed the previous double sided tape from the factory. Now, sometimes you want to double stack that. You want to put two rows on. You put one row on and then go ahead and remove the uh, uh, guarding you know, uh, material. And then on top of that, make another layer if you want to be extra careful. Now go ahead and remove the plastic from the screen itself uh, if you're putting back the old ones. Make sure it's nice and clean, aligned it so you can get a nice good seal. Make sure it's uh, uh, oriented properly and it's not sticking out too much to the left or the right. Now go ahead and lift it up and go ahead and connect those two connections. The LVDS or the screen cable, the retina display, whichever model you have first. This is the data for the display. Go ahead and put that in. Sorry about the blurring is here, but you get the concept. Make sure to click that in and uh, that it's nice and sealed. Now for the power, you go ahead and click that in. Also again, sorry for the bl blurring this. Now go ahead and clamp it up. And that's it. Apply generous pressure, making sure you get a nice good seal.